Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bistur. Medet ya sahibul sayf. Medet. Welcome to those who come. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you want to come, welcome. No one is here, not me, not you, not anyone is here by special invitation. Everyone is special. Everyone is special in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everyone is very special in the sight of the Habibullah. Everyone is special in the sight of our Shaykh. How are you going to say you are special? As much as you put Allah and His Prophet first, special, then that time you're going to be special. If you put Allah and His Prophet last, you're not special. Anyone who is coming here, they are very special. Alhamdulillah. Not because of us. Not because of me or you. Allah has created our fitrat, our natural disposition to be very special. There is no two. There is only one. There is no two. Allah does not make copy. Allah is Ahad. His Habibullah is one. Alhamdulillah. Our Sultan al Awliya, our Shaykh Sahib al-Sayf is one. Everyone is also one. There is no two. There is no two Yasins. There is only one. Ah, now then you start to. Now they don't know which is head, which is tail. Everyone is special. Allah has created everyone unique because Allah is unique. Not even our fingerprints. You may find from the beginning of time up till the end of time, two people were the same. No two people out of the billions and trillions has been created walks the same way. No two blades of grass you're going to find. It is exactly the same. This is for a man of intelligence that is enough for him to say, Allahu Akbar. What a Lord our Lord is. Yes. So anyone who is coming, if they understand how Allah has loved us and has taken care to create us, our Prophet ﷺ is crying day and night for us. <laughs> yes, Prophet is coming to us. He's cleaning us. And those following his footsteps, they are also doing that. The sheikhs, they are visiting us at least four times, five times, seven times a day to come to clean the murid. You know how you have a baby? You have a baby, the mother and the father cleans, changes the diapers. If it is up to us with our dirtiness collecting, if there's nobody to throw it away, to clean it, this whole world, tens of this world, hundreds of this world is going to be filled with our dirtiness. If you are sincere, if I'm sincere, we sit down, we understand what kind of dirtiness we carry, what kind of dirtiness we're producing. That man or woman that says, I'm not producing any dirtiness, that one is the most ignorant one. That one is following shaitan, definitely. Because shaitan knew there is going to be a creature that is going to disobey Allah before man is created. Before man was created, shaitan was worshipping on the earth. Every single spot in the earth, he put his head down to make sajda to Allah and to worship Allah. Shahin Naqshubandi, the peer of our tariqat, is saying, if I can find a handful of earth that shaitan did not make prostration, that shaitan did not touch, I was going to take the whole of the Bani Adam and put them in that handful of dust, handful of earth, so that they are protected from shaitan. But he cannot find. Shaitan not only worship everywhere in this world, he worship in the paradises too. He worshiped so much from worship. He worshiped so much he was elevated higher and higher until he knows so much that he was able to teach the angels 
not the higher level angels, not the archangels, the angels. So, when he was worshipping, the inspiration came to him directly from Allah. Allah was not speaking to him, inspiration was coming. Saying there is going to be a creature that is going to disobey Allah. Immediately shaitan is saying, Ya Rabbi, give me permission to curse at this creature that is going to disobey you. He is not thinking and understanding it may be himself. At that time man was not created yet. There was only angels and the other creatures there. Once we know, once we don't know. He did not think, it could be me. Like today's Muslims, they're so arrogant and proud ones, with their education, with their money, with their knowledge, which is zero knowledge anyway. They are saying, it cannot be me. It's others. Me? Impossible. I'm perfect. No, it is not. Shaitan said, let me curse that one. And Allah says, go ahead, curse. And he's cursing. Day and night he's cursing to that one who is going to disobey Allah. He did not think one time that it might be him. But for thousands of years he was cursing himself. Yes, we say, May we be protected because we are running to the shelter of Allah away from the curse of shaitan, from shaitan, the cursed one. But shaitan became cursed because of his own curse. Allah is not cursing him. Man becomes dirty not because Allah is putting dirtiness on us, but because he himself makes it dirty. Man is going rushing to Jahannam, to fill up the Jahannam, to be burnt by the fire. Allah did not put the fire to Jahannam. But we bring fire to Jahannam. Jannat is empty too. But if the man is putting Allah and his Prophet first, and he's building the Jannah, then his Jannah is going to be filled. His Jannah is going to be built with palaces. His Jannah is going to be full of beautiful things that is going to make it Jannah. But that Jannah is still not Jannah until we are there. It is still empty. The believer, we are not saying don't give us Jannah. It is forbidden. person who knows what Jannah is is not going to say that anyway. Forbidden for us to say that. Because if he smells a little bit of the Jannat, he will fall down and die. Jannat, don't play around with Jannat. People are playing around with the Jannat, playing around with Jahannam. They're playing around with Malaika. They're playing around with angels. They're playing around with saints and with prophets. But everything has a law. And everything has to have his what? Dalil. His proof. Nubuat also has proof. Sainthood also has proof. You're calling yourself Salihin, it must have proof. Islam is proof. Islam is not claiming. Jannat and Jahannam is there, it is real. But as a believer, as once who are following in the footsteps of the Sahabi Kiram, who are following the Prophet. We want to be with the one that we love. Prophet is saying, you are going to be with the one that you love. We are not worshipping so much to get so much blessings, to write it down, to calculate and to say, I win this much, I win that much. We want our Lord to be happy with us. That's all. 
We are running to make our Lord to be happy with us. That is our maksud. That is our intention. If our Lord is happy with us, and our Allah's happiness, our Lord's happiness is hidden. Maybe the one who is doing so much work for Islam, but because of one small kindness he is making to an orphan, or to an animal, or to a cat, or to a fly. Hmm? Isn't it? They are saying, which saint was that? Which scholar was that? Hujatul Islam, Imam Ghazali, he was about to write. He's dipping his pen into the ink he's about to write. A fly came and hopped on it, drinking from the ink. He did not move. Until the fly has finished drinking, then he started to move. And because of that one action, Allah opened the secrets of dunya and ahirat to him. He's giving the rights, very delicate. Islam is very delicate. Giving the rights to that creature that Allah has also created. Hujatul Islam, he did so much, but because of that small action, and the small action that Allah is happy, it is hidden. It's to make the believer to have more energy, to have more boost, to do things. Not to say, ah, I already made Umrah, I get this much reward, so now I don't have to do anything. No, 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 that's not Muslim way. But over and above everything, we want to be with the one that we love. Because if we are separated from the one that we love, even the Jannat becomes the Jahannam. Isn't it? But if we are with the one that we love, the Jahannam will turn to Jannat. So it is not the place again. It is not the building. It is not the land. It is who is there. Which one is there? Is that one a servant to Allah? Or is that one a servant to his ego? If that one is a servant to Allah, wherever he is, it's a rose garden. Wherever he is, there are nightingales singing. Wherever he is, there is rahmat raining from top and from the bottom. We want to be with our Shah. He is with Allah. Because he is with the one that he loves. This is just a little separation, a test that we have to go through. Understand, Sahabi Kiram went through this test. And not many in this way, they are made to go through this test. Understand, I am speaking now from this station. Not many are given this test, in this tariqat, in this way. Some may have gone and passed, and may Allah raise their station higher and higher. But Shah Effendi left something strong. He left foundation strong. Now, he's saying, continue. Holy Prophet ﷺ left the foundation strong. And he's saying, now continue. Sabi Kiram, you think they want to live after Prophet passed? This is dunya. They understood. They have seen Ahirat. They have experienced Jannat. They have experienced that rose garden with the Prophet. They wanted to leave too. But duty is something else. Responsibility is something else. So they were left to continue that. We are left to continue that. Our proof of our love, our delil, our proof of our servanthood, and the proof of our bayat with our shah is to continue his way as a jamaat, not solo, as a jamaat, because Allah is jami, and Allah is saying, be in jamaat. And Prophet is saying, my nation, it will never deviate as a majority. And he's saying, the one group out of 72 groups that are going to be saved, 
one group that is going to be saved, 72 groups that is going to be in the hellfire because Islam is going to be split into 73 different groups. That one group is the one who follows my sunnah and the sunnah of my sahabis. And they are in the majority. Safety is in the majority. May our share hold us tightly so that we don't fly away. We have a lot of work to do. Inshallah, we will do it. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this holy night. Yes, holy night. Of course it is. The believer, every night it is holy. For the believer, every person is holy. Like they are saying in Turkish, think every night like it is Laylatul Qadir. Treat every night like it is Laylatul Qadir. And treat everyone like they are Hizr. Everyone is holy. Everyone is special. We understand that. That is why when we see that specialty, that uniqueness that somebody has and is covered with dirtiness, is covered with harmful things, is covered with ugliness, it is the duty of the murshid who is representing Prophet والسلام, to clean that one, to make that one to come to his own fitrat again, to be beautiful, to be in Ahsani Taqwim, to return him to Allah. That is the purpose. To return that one, the state that Allah has created us in Ahsani Taqwim, to return to Allah. That is the duty of the Murshid, especially the duty of the Naqshbandi Shaykhs. Because that was what happened in that cave. And that is the duty of the Prophet. Prophet والسلام, saying, Ya Rabbi, I cannot return. My Ummat, the way you created them, it is such a heavy job. Of course, Prophet can do it. But he's opening Rahmat for us too. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sending the Naqshbandi Shaykhs, the Murshids to come to help in that prophetic. Uh, task that job inshallah rahman may we stay clean and we will not deviate from this way wa min allah tawfiq al fatiha